Hello, welcome to Interior Jewels. I am Lori. I am putting together today a lantern swag. So I had my bushes of greens here, which I have a whole bunch here, but I cut off the ones that I wanted and I'm going to assemble this and then make a bow, which is going to go perfectly on a lantern swag. So I'm gonna show you how I assemble this. I take my greens that I feel that are the longest that I want in the back. I'm gonna take the two stems, put them together, and I'm gonna hold them here. I always want a space here because this is where my bow is gonna go. So I'm just gonna start layering on top. I'm then gonna use these leaves. This is actually a customer request and she specified the color she wanted for a ribbon and she just wanted greens, no florals. Um, she wants this to be an all year round piece. Um, so no specific season because in this you could add florals as well. But see how I'm just um, layering greens on top of this. And they're all different color greens different textures, that's what makes it look interesting. You don't want all, well, I personally like the look of using different greens, but look at how quickly that came together. And this is a nice size too. Um, this is probably 19 inches long. So by the time you stand this up vertically and put this on the side of a lantern, this will be perfect. I have these tiny little cable ties, which is how I am going to keep these greens together. I'm gonna to put in a couple of them. You can always add a little bit of glue as well for extra security. I think I just missed one in here, so I'm gonna put another one. You wanna make sure that you have all of your stems in here and your greens facing all the same way. I'm gonna put one more in here. I love these little cable ties. And once you have these secured, this is not going anywhere. And I'm gonna put a third one here. And again, making sure my greens are all facing the same way. Put one more here. This may seem like a little bit of overkill with three zip ties or cable ties, but these stems were all different sizes. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer. So I wanna make sure that I have all of them secure that they're not going anywhere. And I will take my clippers, cut off the ends of those. So now it is totally secure. These are not going anywhere. You can fluff this out a little bit. Just to get it nice and full. And now, being as I have this space here, this is where my bow is gonna go. Again, this is for an order. So I have some ribbons here. She requested beige, blue, yellow, and gray. So I'm going to try and incorporate all of those colors. I'm going to start with my widest one. These are all wire edged ribbon, which is what you need to make a nice bow because it allows it to hold its shape. I'm gonna start with this one, which is a two and a half inch width. I like to leave a little bit of a longer tail here. I just scrunch this between my fingers and that's about the size that I want. And these are probably, once I make my loops, I wanna make sure that they're the same size. These loops are approximately four and a half inches. I'm going to leave a little bit. Uh, oh, I don't think I have my scissor here. 
Hold on one second, gotta get my scissor. I'm coming. I had my scissor on my other workspace. So that's the beginnings of my bow. A little bit of a longer tail on one side. Now I'm just going to layer the other colors on top of this. I think I will then go with blue. And I'm basically just going to follow the size of the loops that are here already. Cut that off. And again, just stacking them on top of each other. Now I think I will go with, what did she ask me for? Gray, blue, I'm gonna go with a gray. I have a gray ribbon here. These are all pretty much neutral. And these lantern swags are great to do for every season. If you use lanterns in your decor, it's a great way to change them up for every season, whether you're going to do a uh, summer flowers, obviously Christmas flowers, you can do an Easter one, and it just makes it look completely different, and it's a perfect way to incorporate holiday decor. And again, this client specifically wanted this more neutral with the colors that went in her home. She wants to keep this up until she would put her Christmas decor out. So see how they're just going on top of each other. Now I'm going to add the little bit of yellow. And I think I'm only going to add one little loop to this because this loop, when I do this, this will hide the cable tie that I am going to secure this with. I'm gonna leave that like that. Cut that here. Okay, so now I am going to secure this. You know what? I think I'm going to use one of the little ones first just to secure my bow. And then I will use another cable tie to secure it to the sweat, uh, the greens. So I'm gonna pull this tight. That's when I can fluff this. Again, wire edged ribbons are so beautiful. When you run your fingers down them, they just take shape. I'm going to cut that off and then I am going to add this. I'm going to put it on a little bit of an angle so I'm not completely covering. If I went like this, a lot of this is covering the greens. I'm going to put it on a little bit of an angle. I want to have my longer tails at the bottom. And I'm going to take a larger, just make sure I have that in the middle, a larger um, cable tie and put that in the middle and that is going to secure it to the greens. Get this in here. Again, pull as tight as you can so this is secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Fluff this out and see what I mean about this one little loop in the middle so I don't see those cable ties. I just do this and that gives me a little loop in the middle. My streamers hanging down, my tails. I'm gonna cut the ones that 
are going upward a little bit shorter. Let me see where's my longer ones. I'm going to dovetail these. Now dovetail is taking the ribbon, folding it in half, cutting from the folded corner on an angle out toward the wired edge. And that just gives that a finished look. So I'm gonna do that with all of these. One, two, I should have one more up here. So easy to do, and again, just gives it a finished look. Now I'm gonna do the ones on the bottom here. This one. And you can do these in so many different variations, different color greens. You can add florals, as I said. Um, for an Easter one, you can add um, picks of eggs. Um, at Christmas time, you may want to add holiday picks that have berries on them or you know, little sparkly decorative picks that you can get at any of the craft stores. Well, my scissors need some help here. Okay. So what do you think? I think that this came so pretty. And again, I'm having it off center a little bit so I can sort of have the bow going this way so I'm not completely hiding the greens. And I don't have a lantern in front of me, but here's something tall that you can just get an idea of how that looks on there. I hope I've inspired you to put your own swag together. This is a perfect thing to add to lanterns, a wreath, a, um, a picture frame, a mirror. You can use these on so many different things. And again, you can make them holiday, you can make them year round, you can make them neutral, you can make them anything you want. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day.